guys, so today I'm doing a review on the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Shadow and Liner. Huge name, I always forget it. Um, so basically, the first word, shimmer. So if you do not like shimmery eyeshadows, these will probably not be for you. However, a lot of them aren't like a glitter ball. I have them on today. They have a really nice, you know, amount of shimmer, but it's not like a lot of eyeshadows where they're just like crazy. And if you haven't seen the new shimmer strips, they are extreme shimmer. Those are extreme. I haven't got my hands on them yet. Um, I just haven't been able to. I actually, the palette that I want is the more nude color and it's out every single Rite Aid or else I would have gotten it by now because I got a lot of physician formula free and they didn't have it. So I'm just really bummed. I'll just wait for new, another deal and get it soon and I'll review that for you guys if that's something that you want to see. So definitely let me know in the comments. But these are absolutely amazing. These have been out for years and the reason why I'm talking about them today because you're probably like, who cares? They're not new products. I only like to see reviews on new products because I feel like I'm the same way. However, I think I'm the perfect person to review these because I have been using these forever. And I feel like I always go back to them. They're just beautiful. And honestly, last night as I was laying in bed falling asleep, I seriously was like, you know what? I really need to use those Physical Formula palettes. I really need to take them out again because it feels like it's been forever and I absolutely love them. They are amazing quality. They blend so well and so easy. And I feel like especially if you're a beginner or someone who doesn't have a lot of time, these are awesome. A lot of people have complained, you know, that the smaller um, strips here, it's hard to get a brush in. I really don't have a problem. I use an e.l.f. shader brush or any other shader brush that I own, even from Eco Tools, and it's fine. I don't have any issues. So, I mean, obviously, just be careful, I guess. Um, but, you know, you don't really have to worry about because normally the darker shades are towards the end, so it's not like you're going to be really mixing. It's not really like they put, like, a light shade with a dark shade type of thing. But, anywho, I have four of the Nude Wear line, and I did look on their website right before I did this video because I was like, I could have sworn that there was another one that I didn't have, but it's really hard to find. I've never seen it... You know, in my Rite Aid, like, I'll see that like Walmart or Target, but in my Rite Aids, at least in my area, they don't have it. And it is the Smoky Nude. It is not the same as this Smoky palette. It basically looks nude, has a couple blacks in there and a little bit of darker like silver shades. I don't have that palette. I would like to get that palette, but I don't have it. I never really have seen it. So these are the ones that I have. I have the original Nude palette. This was the first one before they, you know, started to basically do a spin-off of this palette. This is amazing. People have, um, compared this to the Naked palette. I don't own the original Naked palette, so I really couldn't say, but just looking at it, they do have some similar shades. Like, a lot of other palettes have basically duped the Urban Decay Naked palette, but this is just gorgeous. The packaging's really cute. The only thing is that the bow can be really annoying. This one fell off. <laughs> it doesn't have the bow. It completely fell off, I think, like, in a drawer or something or got caught and it just grabbed off. But it's really cute. This is very textured. It feels like actual lace. Um, they did come out with newer products with this lace detailing on it, but it's actually, like, smooth. And this actually has, like, a texture to it and it feels like material. Whereas the other products, it's just, like, it's just actually just plastic and it's just a picture. So this is just a really, really pretty packaging. Um, the back does not open. Um, they do have an eyeshadow palette where the back does open with a brush and a mirror, but this one is not like that. It's very thin, great for traveling. A lot of people have depotted these shadows and put them in Z palettes. I just wouldn't do that for me just because this is just really great to travel with. You know, I guess you can bring the whole thing of your Z palette with you, but I just feel like this is just very easy and I, I love the packaging, so why depot it? You open it here and they're all the same way. You have your eyeshadows and then you get this brush. And I do keep the brushes just because you never know you might be in a pinch. But also these like sponge tips, I've used them and they work really great to get in the inner corner. They just work really nice for to put it, you know, on your lid. Maybe not so much in the crease because I like a more blended crease sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I get a little carried away and not really blend at all. But this is just really nice and especially in a pinch because sometimes I have a reputation of forgetting my brushes when I travel. So I always keep that in here. But anyway, so this is the very first one that I came out with. I absolutely fell in love with it. I have given this away as gifts so many times because it's just really an amazing palette. It's just beautiful. And I just feel like the shadows just blend so well. I don't have any trouble. And again, it's not an extreme shimmer. Like, they've come out with the new palettes now that just got released in January, December of 2015 or December of 2014. Um, it's just a really, really, it's just really beautiful. So that is that one. The one I 
I have on today is the Natural Nude. This is probably my least used palette. Not that because I don't like it, it's just I have a lot of eyeshadows. So I need to constantly be rotating my makeup. But this is just beautiful. And this palette I actually thought of to use today that I've been just dreaming about. And it's just really, really, really pretty. I love this bronze shade. I have this in my outer V and on the lower lash line. And as you can tell, it doesn't come off harsh. They blend really well. They just go really well together. And I mixed these two shades together. Um on the lid it just looks really really beautiful and then I mix these two shades it's like a white and like an ivory I put that in the inner corner and on the brow bone it's beautiful 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 same thing get a little sponge tip brush here I just love it next is the warm nude this is definitely really warm if you love warm shadows this would be a great palette for you and I'm not saying you need to own all four of these, or really the fifth one is also the Nude Smoky. I'm not saying you need to buy all of them, because a lot of them, yes, they can look kind of similar. But, you know, get one or two that you like. If you were to get the Natural and the Warm, they're completely different palettes. So, I'll get there at the end. But anyway, so this is the Warm one. This is just beautiful. I My favorite are the last three shades. Those are my absolute favorite as you can tell this is definitely a loved palette and very probably my most worn maybe not I don't know it would be a tie between three of them but the other three that I have but I love this palette it's beautiful again if you like warm shadows this would be great I just love the packaging and they're slightly like a different color on the outside and it's like that cardboard and it's magnetic and I just love it I just love it and last but not least is the classic nudes this is like beat okay so this might be my most worn actually I you know what I'm gonna say it's my most worn out of the four that I own here um, out of the nude collection this is just gorgeous look just beautiful beautiful shades I would have to say that the classic nudes and the regular original nude can be kind of similar I mean you can definitely tell their differences because most makeup addicts can tell a difference but if you're just going to choose one just choose one I don't think you need both unlike me if you can if you're a couponer and get them super cheap free I paid about 30 cents for these you know, get them all. Why not? You know what I mean? But if you're going to pay full price, um, I would definitely just pick one because I don't think you need both. But you can definitely tell the subtle differences. But they're just beautiful. But again, I've used this so much. It's just so gorgeous. And I love the darker shades in these palettes because the formula is just so great. And I just feel like they blend very easily. I don't feel like I have to, like, suffer through blending, like, a lot of shadows. So I really, really love these shadows. They're just really great. And especially, I really love the dark shades and the light shades. They're just really, really, really beautiful beautiful and I definitely highly recommend these they're just really great very highly pigmented but not too pigmented again like where it's gonna be hard to blend they're just very smooth but they're not overly shimmery like the new palettes that just came out so I really love them and I believe these retail at my Rite Aid for $11.95 of course at Target or Walmart they'll probably be a little bit cheaper but definitely wait until Fisher's Formula at Rite Aid is spend um, 15 to get back 10 because you can get some really great deals and sometimes you can find coupons on these products um or go to Rite Aid's Facebook page. Sometimes there's uh, Physician's Formula Rite Aid coupons, which you can stack with the coupon on the product. So if you're not a couponer, you should follow my channel so I can help you with that. Or follow me on Instagram because I definitely will post when there's makeup deals because I love my makeup. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all later. Bye guys!